Hey, good morning. It's uh, the 27th of November. It's Sunday. Today I chose walking day. So it's not the big guy here. Um, you get all my contact information down the bottom. If you want to chat or talk to me, find me on Fitbit or MyFitnessPal, Instagram, Twitter. It's all down the bottom. Anyway, today I decided to go for a walk. Sundays I usually do go for a walk, but uh, I was kind of egging myself on to do a leg day at the gym, but... Uh, my back is sore from yesterday, all the muscles, they're all like squeezed, so when you're using a, what call a hack squat, you're on like on a 45 degree angle, uh, you put your back on it and you slide down and you put weights on it and it works out your legs. That particular machine I find useful because it supports my lower back, I have lower back issues, so uh, instead of doing um, squats at the, at the rack, I do uh, what they call hack squats. Um, one's with free weights and there's one with a machine. I do the one with the machine. But uh, oh, if I did that, the uh, and plus, I like doing the um, calf raises, the standing car, calf raises. And that machine also goes on your shoulder, so I might do that tomorrow. Yes, I'm chickening out on my leg day, but I admit it. So today is a walking day. Um, can't go out for too long. Um, I have to take two little boys to a uh, little girl's birthday party. They're the fun things of being a dad. Now the mum, she's delivering elves. Yes, elves. Anyway, that's another story. But today, um, I usually go for about eight kilometres um, for my morning walks. Um, I get that information from my Fitbit, um, so it kind of gets it from the sky and tracks me, so it gets it pretty accurately, so so today I'm probably only doing about six or seven, I have to get home a bit early. Sundays I also train a bit differently, I uh, do them fasted, uh, I just don't eat in the morning, uh, a lot of Sundays are like um, eating hash browns and bacon and egg. A um, little bit of extra food in the morning and uh, won't be having that today, but generally Sundays I train or exercise fast. And during the week, don't do that, but uh, but yeah, today I'm going to still do that. Uh, weighing today, 92.5. Uh, that's not my lowest weigh-in over the last month, but considering I was 95 kilograms uh, just a week ago, after my kid-free weekend, and we went out and ate, I ate a bit of extra food, um, which is perfectly fine. But uh, I'm glad it's I'm back to basically where I was before. So I'm on track for next week to do what I need to do. This afternoon, I'll need to do a meal prep after I get home from this uh, birthday party. It finishes at one, so I'll have to get home and um, do a meal prep. Meal preps are generally just uh, chicken thigh fillets. Um, I kind of butterfly them and marinate them in some sort of marinated sauce or buy from the shelf. Um, usually marinate them for at least one hour, uh, minimum half an hour. Sometimes I do them overnight, but uh, I just cook them on a, on a pan and cook them up and chop them all up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, tastes really nice. The good thing about the chicken thigh fillet is it's a bit fatty, so it uh, doesn't dry. It's not very dry when you eat it. I've tried uh, like chicken breast, like really good quality chicken breast, but yeah, it doesn't taste too good. It's a bit dry when I cook it, so um, you can brine it. Uh, I tried that once, where you yeah, just put the chicken breast in a pot of water and a bit of salt, try to open the pores up of the chicken, but. Uh, didn't really that didn't really work out. It tasted fine, but yeah, I don't like dry chicken mid through the week. So chicken thigh fillets it is. Um, tastes really good and uh, very juicy. But anyway, I'll talk a bit further down the road. Morning's uh, topic I want to bring up is uh, faith. Uh, not the spiritual kind because it's a Sunday, but uh, the faith in exercise and health and well-being in general. A lot of people have myths and. Uh, old wives tales that they believe in um, 
they they look at bodybuilders or people on the net um, advocating particular ways of eating. Um, and the truth of the matter is, with weight loss, it only comes down to one thing, and one thing only is calories in versus calories out. I don't know how many times I've heard people say it, but it's so true. And uh, and it doesn't matter if you if you be. I'm going to talk about the aspect of you being challenged. Um, uh, you being challenged by your your faith and exercise. So, just for instance, you're an advocate of having green tea, which I, I have, by the way. Um, not the hot kind, just in a sachet, in a, in a cool drink. But, um, but just say, uh, that nearly caught fog and, I don't know, it's like being caught with your pants down. But anyway, um, what I was saying, yeah, faith and exercise and health and, well health and well-being. So for instance, I take a, a green tea. Um, it says it boosts your metabolism um, helps in weight loss. Yeah, oh, I very, very dubious claims. They've got no scientific evidence to say so. They're saying, you know, the wise tale about green tea, it helps in, you know, boosting your metabolism or losing weight, but that's one aspect I'm trying to bring up. But the other aspect is mainly to do with exercise. Um, maybe some people believe in, um, like fasted cardio, like I'm doing this morning. Some people believe in intermittent fasting. Some people believe in the best way to eat is a paleo diet or a vegan diet. But uh, as I said before, with weight loss, it's all to do with calories in versus calories out. And now, when it comes to your faith and what you believe in, if someone challenges you in your faith, I suggest you say, oh, I'm not really sure. I'm going to go and check that out and do some more research. Do the research and find out. Someone says you're doing something silly. Say, oh man, I hope I'm not doing silly. You'd be nice to that person. You go research it. Find out if you are being silly or you're right. So, um... That's all I really wanted to bring up this morning is if someone challenges you, do your research. Make sure that your, um, that your method or your diet is right. But anyway, I'll catch you later. The vlog for uh, Sunday. Um, so hopefully you got something out of that. But uh, today it's going to be interesting. Um, Taking kids to birthday parties by myself. I haven't done that before. That'd be interesting. But, uh, yeah. Make sure that um, if, if someone does challenge you or even challenge yourself. You know, you're eating a particular way. You're, maybe you've got a weight loss plateau. Challenge yourself. Find out if your food is causing you harm. Or maybe your exercise is not up to scratch. But whatever it is. Prepared to lose your faith. And, uh, you know, if someone tells you that a uh, particular pill or substance or particular food is rubbish, so I'm, oh, I'll look that up for, for myself and make sure I'm not, a, I'm not doing it wrong. But uh, that's all I wanted to talk about this morning was uh, is, is to basically, you have to learn to evolve. You have to learn to to uh, leave your pride at the door type of thing when it comes to weight loss and uh, if you're training and exercising and someone challenges you, just uh, can't stress it enough. Look it up, find the facts, make sure it's not a rubbish article, make sure it's, it's got some sort of medical or scientific uh, research behind it, but uh, end of the day, just... Just don't be stubborn and say, oh, no, I'm going to do this way or I'm going to eat this anyway. Just uh, don't be stubborn anyway. Anyway, it's overcast and I get bad lighting during the vlog. That's horrible. But anyway, that's another week. Um, so uh, thank you for all the comments down below. Um, just wanted to vlog every day for a little bit. 
um, and uh, see how that goes. Bye.